Trailblazers in Black History, Pioneers Across Diverse Fields The history of black pioneers who broke racial barriers and became the first in their fields is not only a testament to their personal tenacity but also a profound commentary on society's evolution. These individuals, through their remarkable achievements, have paved the way for future generations, overcoming seemingly insurmountable obstacles. From science and politics to arts and sports, here are 11 trailblazing black personalities whose stories are marked by groundbreaking firsts, scandalous revelations, and fascinating facts. Number 1. Bessie Coleman, First African-American Female Pilot Elizabeth Bessie Coleman, born on January 26, 1892, in Atlanta, Texas, became the first African-American woman and the first Native American to hold a pilot license. Coleman's journey to aviation was fraught with obstacles due to racial and gender biases in the United States. Unwilling to accept these barriers, she learned French and in 1920 moved to France, where she attended the Caudron Brothers School of Aviation. On June 15, 1921, Coleman earned her pilot's license from the Fédération Aéronautique Internationale, achieving her dream against formidable odds. Upon her return to the United States, Coleman became a high-profile aviator, performing in air shows and inspiring both African Americans and women to pursue flying. Her legacy endures, symbolizing the possibility of overcoming barriers to achieve one's dreams. Number 2. Guyon S. Bluford Jr., First African American in Space Guyon Guy S. Bluford Jr. shattered a celestial ceiling on August 30, 1983, when he became the first African American to travel into space. As a mission specialist aboard the Space Shuttle Challenger's STS-8 mission, Bluford's first flight was a six-day mission during which the crew deployed an Indian communications satellite, conducted scientific experiments, and tested the shuttle's robotic arm. Born in Philadelphia in 1942, Bluford joined NASA's Astronaut Corps in 1978 as part of a group that included other minority and female astronauts, signifying NASA's move toward a more inclusive space program. Throughout his career, Bluford flew four shuttle missions, logging over 688 hours in space. His pioneering journey into orbit broke racial barriers and served as an inspiration to countless individuals, affirming that space exploration is a human endeavor, irrespective of race. Number 3. Jackie Robinson, Breaking Major League Baseball's Color Barrier Jackie Robinson's entry into Major League Baseball, MLB, on April 15, 1947, marked a pivotal moment in both sports and American history. When Robinson stepped onto Ebbets Field in Brooklyn, New York, as a member of the Brooklyn Dodgers, he ended approximately six decades of segregation in professional baseball. His debut was the culmination of efforts by Dodgers general manager Branch Rickey, who selected Robinson for his exceptional skills and strong character, essential for confronting the challenges of integration. Robinson's rookie year was marked by formidable challenges, including racial slurs, threats, and hostility from fans and players alike. However, his performance on the field was stellar, earning him the inaugural MLB Rookie of the Year award. Robinson's jersey, number 42, was retired across all MLB teams in 1997, a testament to his enduring legacy and the doors he opened for future athletes of all backgrounds. Jackie Robinson's career, marked by his resilience and excellence, challenged the prejudices of the time and laid the groundwork for the integration of sports in America. Number 4. Shirley Chisholm, first black woman elected to the U.S. Congress. On November 5, 1968, Shirley Chisholm made history by becoming the first African-American woman elected to the U.S. Congress, representing New York's 12th Congressional District, which included Central Brooklyn. Chisholm's victory was significant not only for its historical precedence but also for her campaign's message of independence and advocacy for marginalized communities. Her slogan, Unbought and Unbossed, perfectly encapsulated her approach to politics. Chisholm served seven terms in the House of Representatives, from 1969 to 1983, where she was a co-founder of the Congressional Black Caucus in 1971. In 1972, Chisholm again broke new ground by seeking the Democratic nomination for President of the United States, becoming the first major party black candidate and the first African-American woman to run for the country's highest office. Although she did not win the nomination, her presidential campaign was a milestone in U.S. political history paving the way for future generations of women and minorities in politics.
Number 5. Patty McDaniel, First African American to Win an Oscar. On February 29, 1940, Hattie McDaniel etched her name in history by becoming the first African American to win an Academy Award. She was awarded the Oscar for Best Supporting Actress for her portrayal of Mammy in the 1939 epic film Gone with the Wind. The award ceremony took place at the Ambassador Hotel in Los Angeles, where McDaniel, amidst the segregation norms of the era, was seated at a segregated table at the side of the room, away from her peers. McDaniel's acceptance speech was moving and dignified, recognizing the significance of her achievement. Despite the recognition, her roles often were criticized for adhering to stereotypes, a reflection of the limited opportunities available to African-American actors at the time. Her Oscar win was a landmark moment, highlighting the disparities in racial equality within the entertainment industry, while also paving the way for future generations of African-American actors. Number 6. Thurgood Marshall, First African-American Supreme Court Justice Thurgood Marshall's appointment to the U.S. Supreme Court on October 2, 1967, marked the culmination of a remarkable career in law and civil rights. Before his appointment by President Lyndon B. Johnson, Marshall was best known for his legal victory in the landmark Supreme Court case Brown v. Board of Education of Topeka in 1954, which effectively ended racial segregation in public schools. As an associate justice, he served on the Supreme Court for 24 years, until his retirement in 1991. Marshall's decisions and opinions were characterized by his unwavering commitment to justice, equality, and the protection of individual rights. Throughout his tenure on the court, Marshall advocated for the rights of the marginalized and worked tirelessly to eradicate discrimination, leaving an indelible mark on American jurisprudence and advancing the cause of civil rights in the United States. Number 7. Father Augustus Tolton. Father Augustus Tolton, born into slavery in 1854, emerged as a beacon of hope and resilience by becoming the first publicly recognized African-American Roman Catholic priest in the United States. Despite facing racial discrimination and rejection from American seminaries, Tolton's unwavering faith and determination led him to Rome, where he was ordained in 1886. Upon returning to the U.S., he dedicated himself to serving the African-American Catholic community in Quincy, Illinois, and later in Chicago, where he founded St. Monica's Catholic Church. Pope Francis declared Tolton venerable in 2019, acknowledging his virtuous life and paving the way for his potential canonization. Number 8. Mae Jemison, First African-American Woman in Space Dr. Mae Jemison broke the final frontier for African-American women on September 12, 1992, when she flew aboard the Space Shuttle Endeavour on mission STS-47. Before her historic flight, Jemison had achieved remarkable success as a physician and engineer, embodying a multidisciplinary genius that propelled her into NASA's astronaut program. Jemison's mission included experiments in life sciences and material sciences, contributing valuable data to our understanding of weightlessness and motion sickness. Her achievements have inspired a generation, particularly young women and girls of color, to pursue careers in STEM fields. Number 9. Toni Morrison, First African-American Woman to Win the Nobel Prize in Literature Toni Morrison was awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1993, becoming the first African-American woman to receive this prestigious accolade. Morrison's literary works, celebrated for their profound exploration of the African-American experience, are characterized by their thematic depth, narrative innovation, and complex characterization. Her novel Beloved, which won the Pulitzer Prize for Fiction in 1988, is often highlighted as her masterpiece, delving into the trauma of slavery and its lingering effects on the human soul. Morrison's contributions to literature and her exploration of themes such as identity, culture, and memory have cemented her legacy as one of the greatest writers in American history. Number 10. Barack Obama, First African American President of the United States. On November 4, 2008, Barack Obama was elected as the 44th President of the United States, marking a historic milestone as the first African American to hold the office. Obama, a member of the Democratic Party, served two terms from 2009 to 2017. His election represented a significant moment in the ongoing struggle for racial equality in America, 
embodying the aspirations and hopes of countless individuals who had fought for civil rights. Obama's presidency was notable for several key achievements, including the Affordable Care Act, the legalization of same-sex marriage, and the operation that led to the death of Osama bin Laden. His leadership style, characterized by eloquence and a message of hope and unity, left a lasting impact on the nation's political and social fabric. Number 11. Ralph Bunch, First African American Nobel Peace Prize Laureate. Ralph Bunch, an esteemed diplomat and academic, was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 1950 for his instrumental role in mediating the 1949 armistice agreements between Israel and four Arab nations. Bunch's work with the United Nations as a mediator in Palestine and his broader contributions to peacekeeping and conflict resolution have had a lasting impact on international diplomacy. His legacy as a peacemaker and a trailblazer for African Americans in the field of international relations continues to inspire efforts toward global peace and justice.